Are doctor and dermatologist brands really better? And are they worth the money? Today I want to share with you some of my favorite doctor and dermatologist owned skincare brands, but also talk about some of the controversy behind them and why some people don't like the expensive price tag is often attached to them. What actually makes doctor or dermatologist created skincare different? Technically, not really much because there is no certifying body on what makes doctor skincare different than regular skincare. And there are actually many doctors out there that white label other products from other chemistry manufacturers and just slap their name on it. But there are also individuals that do this too. However, not all dermatologists or doctors do that and many do take the time to create their own custom formulas. But either way, does the doctor's name behind this really lend that much credibility? And out of the ones that I do love, which products are worth it? and which products are not. Let's start with one of my absolute favorites, which is Dr. Sandra Lee MD, AKA Dr. Pimple Popper. Dr. Sandra Lee MD has a skincare line, but she's more famously known as Dr. Pimple Popper on YouTube. She comes from a family of medical professionals and she started her work in dermatology years ago. Now she started posting pimple popping videos on the internet almost a decade ago. And yes, I have been obsessed since the very beginning. And so has my auntie. Um, I have an auntie who loves popping pimples just as much as I do. And um, she and I geek over our popaholic tendencies together. It was a few years ago, but Dr. Sandra Lee did launch her skincare line. And not all of her products are spot on, but quite a few of them are amazing. And even more recently, I would say in the past year or so, they've actually launched some new and innovative products, such as an eczema cream, as well as pimple patches, which yes, my pimples love. Now, Dr. Sandra Lee MD's products are at Target, and you know what? They're not horribly priced. I love her body acne benzoyl peroxide wash. I find it to be a really good option. And even due to the advice of Dr. Dre, you can use some benzoyl peroxide in your armpits if you want to get rid of odor. You just put it on in the shower and wash it off. Dr. Sandra Lee also has an amazing body acne spray. It's one of my favorites. And they also have retinol serums and similar products with high potency actives that do work. I personally love a lot of her body stuff, her glycolic washes, etc. I find them to be excellent for my skin conditions. But what about when it comes to some of the face products? Yes, I love most of them. The salicylic cleanser, the retinol, um, moisturizer is amazing. However, she has come under fire for only having like an SPF 15. Well, I do agree. I wish that they had higher levels of SPF or, you know, an SPF 50 and SPF 30. The SPF 15 that they have, I think it's pretty decent for every day, especially if you are going to be staying indoors and reapplying. Please remember that an SPF 15 does not mean 15% protective of the sun's rays. Most sunscreens protect between, I would say 92 and 98% of the sun's rays. And that number, the SPF 15 only relates to the UV B, the burn rays, and it really shows you how often you have to reapply. So I don't dislike the Sandra Lee MD one. I do wish they had others though. Now something else that I haven't heard others talk about, but uh, I feel the need to expose and we will be in another video, but there are other SPF products in Dr. Sandra Lee's line, as well as some other very popular brands that are sold at Nordstrom and Sephora that I do believe are using the same basic manufacturer to create these. Now the question is, are the formulas different? Is there a reason you should pay more for one versus the other? The Sandra Lee MD one is one of the more affordable ones, which I do like, but that definitely deserves a follow-up video. Dr. Sandra Lee's products are stabilized. They are really good formulas. Would I say that they are absolutely worth $500? No, but thank goodness she's not charging $500 for them. They absorb into the skin well, they work well, and is it really worth it to pay for the doctor's name? You know, in this case, I don't know if you're paying for the doctor's name. The packaging is nice, but it's not like overly fluffy. Again, it's available at Target. I think for skincare, it is relatively well priced. Now this is not priced the way the ordinary or the inky list is, but I do feel that you're getting different formulas and you're also supporting the entire pimple popper empire. You know, using this skincare is a way to take care of your skin, but also a way to kind of being a part of the popaholic community, which to me really does matter. And especially for my back acne, you know, finding a body acne spray that actually works, finding a good benzoyl peroxide that doesn't dry me out, that's difficult to do. And I like a lot of their products. They have recently launched some vitamin C and niacinamide products. The niacinamide toner was not my favorite, but again, it's not a bad one. This is a really great line, and especially because it's not overpriced. Yes, I feel that Dr. Sandra Lee MD's line is one that I personally love. It's worth the money, uh, and it makes it into my favorite dermatology and doctor brands. Then let's talk about Dr. Zenovia. Dr. Zenovia is actually an expert in hormonal dermatology. I believe she's from OC or from Long Beach, um, but she's been featured in a ton of different press, and her background is as a dermatologist, but also someone who specializes in hormones. She helps to educate 
educate her patients on this and she's put it into her skincare line. Now I've heard from the grapevine that some of their products used to be kind of this white label. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that I haven't been able to find similar things on the market. The packaging is very fancy. It's available at Sephora and it's a little bit more expensive, but is that because the products and formulas are really good or is it because the doctor's name is on it? What I do love about Dr. Zenobia is that everything is targeted towards hormonal acne. So for people, women, or people with uteruses who have acne, this is a really great line that targets some of those hormonal breakouts, but with active ingredients that are proven by science. Some of my favorite products are the glycolic ones or the Bicuchiol, and they also have an inflammation aging product that is really amazing on the skin. However, not all of Dr. Zenobia's products are a win. They have this one SPF that is a nightmare. <laughs> it's an SPF 30 with vitamin C, and I love the concept because vitamin C as an antioxidant can revitalize the SPF inside of sunscreens and give it a boost. But this was paste city bitch, paste paste city bitch, spend all your money looking like Casper. Bitch. And again, if you are super pale, this might be a great sunscreen for you, but to apply the recommended amount, it was just not a go for me. Now, based on ingredients, based on packaging, I haven't found anything like this. I do think it stands alone. I love this as a dermatology and doctor-based brand from Sephora. If you know a little bit more about the white labeling, or maybe if one or two of the products comes from one of those manufacturers, again, I don't think that's a bad thing inherently, but I would be interested in knowing if you know of any dupes for these. But overall, Dr. Zenovia is an amazing brand, one of my favorite dermatology-owned brands, and yes, one that I do recommend. There is another brand from a doctor uh, that has like $200 hyaluronic acid serums. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. We also have to discuss Paracone MD. This was actually one of the very first doctor or dermatologist branded things out there. And Dr. Paracone, I think right now he's like 70, 72 years old. He's been an expert in the industry for a while. And actually what makes him different is he's against the use of Botox. He really believes in whole body health and wellness, but is it for a price? You see, Dr. Paracone MD as a line and as a clinic. They sell supplements, they sell books, they sell overall health and wellness products. So does Dr. Paracone believe in this because it is his philosophy or is it a way to make easy money? Dr. Nick's uh, products and Dr. Paracone MD's products are a little bit more expensive, but I really like what they have for their acne line. I think their acne line and their acne serums are great. I also really love their foundations with SPF, even though you need to reapply. And a lot of their SPF products are really good, but Dr. Paracone does have some of these anti aging things where I feel like the claims are a little bit overblown or the formulas were just a little bit more expensive for what I need. Now, Dr. Nick Paracone MD and the brand Paracone MD has come under fire for this in the past. Dr. Paracone has also been featured on Dr. Oz, which is an entire can of worms because uh, Dr. Oz has come under fire for having specific claims or allowing undisclosed sponsorships on his show, which are not okay. But again, I'm not the lawyer there. I don't know if that's happening. I don't know and I don't have confirmation of that. All I know is that my grandma loves Dr. Dr. Oz and I used to sit with her in her living room and watch Dr. Oz and did I agree with everything he said? No, but I am also not a doctor or a dermatologist yet. As far as the line goes, it is a little bit more expensive, but especially for me and my skin, their acne line especially, I absolutely love. I've been able to find it on sale during like Amazon Prime Day and sometimes other retailers have discounts. Um, it's also at skinstore.com. They are a really good brand and if you want to spend the money on it, I feel it's not perfect for teenagers, but maybe someone with a little bit more mature skin. I really like their acne stuff. I just wouldn't recommend their anti-aging stuff or their graceful aging stuff because I believe that you can find graceful aging products at more affordable prices. Such as with Dr. Sam. Dr. Sam is the founder of Dr. Sam's Skincare as well as a YouTuber here online. And what I love about her is that she works in a cosmetic dermatology practice in the UK. She inspires and educates patients in clinic as well as on YouTube. And can I just say, she has some bomb diggity YouTube content if you have not seen it. Her skincare is also some of my favorite. I am freaking obsessed with her sunscreen. This is one of my favorite sunscreens of all time. It's the Daily Flawless. And yes, it is UVA and UVB protective. Now it is a little bit steep, it is a little bit more expensive, but I do feel that all of Dr. Sam's products, I haven't really felt anything like them before. I don't believe they're white labeling them. I believe that they're custom blended. She really has experience in cosmetic dermatology as well as cosmetic formulation. And of course she is a doctor, but this sunscreen as an SPF 50 is one of my favorites, especially cause it has some shea butter and it combines this moisturizing factor as well as SPF. Now she also has other products. They have a new hydration mask, which I think is really good. They have a bunch of different serums, which I haven't tried them all, but they're pretty good. But one product that I was very disappointed with was their Gossamer. Gossamer, 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 the Lucy Goosey sunscreen. <laughs> and the Lucy Goosey sunscreen, oh, that was bad. It was chunky. It was 
nasty. And at first I was like, oh, this might be a really great BB cream. I love her other sunscreen so much. This is going to be great. It was so chunky. And at first I blamed the brand until you, the beautiful butterfly community, showed up in the comments and said, actually, that was a manufacturer problem. And Dr. Sam and Dr. Sam's brand completely recalled all of those sunscreens. They took care of the problem and they reformulated because there was an issue with the manufacturer. And that just goes to show how hard some of this stuff can be to do. Just because you create a perfect formula, it has great ingredients and it works well on skin. If the temperature isn't just right, if the manufacturer messes something up, if they put it into a product or a bottle that's not stabilized or not the right container for those active ingredients, it can go bad, it can coagulate and chunk up, I and mean, it can really change the formula. And unfortunately, that's what happened. But I think what's amazing about Dr. Sam, both as a person and as a line, is that they admitted it and then they fixed it. And again, this was the manufacturer, not Dr. Sam herself, but the fact that she took responsibility and the fact that she worked to correct the problem made sure that people got taken care of and that the products stopped being sold and were reformulated to make sure that, that problem wasn't there and that the manufacturer was behaving. Humans are humans and mistakes happen, even if you're a doctor or not, right? But I think that how we respond to criticism, to controversy, and to mistakes that we make is more indicative of who we are rather than the original mistake in the first place. And I was super impressed by that. And yes, when I did get the new gossip mirror, it is super silky, it is super luxurious, and it is like a BB cream with sunscreen. Dr. Sam's sun products are what I've tried most. They stand out to me most and I freaking love them. I've tried to remove my bias of her YouTube content because I love the education she provides online. But even if I try to keep that out of it and just look at the absolute products on their own, they are really good, they are worth the money. And I would recommend this for anyone who is maybe 18 to 45, who is looking for good sunscreen that protects, that doesn't break you out, and that actually works as proven by medical literature. This is one of the brands that is absolutely worth it and on my favorites list. Then we've got Dr. Visha. Dr. Pravisha Patel is actually a relatively unknown dermatologist, but she's huge in Memphis, Tennessee, and she is amazing. I've never met her in person, but we've had the chance to speak a lot online, and I've had the chance to try some of her skin products. And at first, when I saw a lot of her stuff online, I was very skeptical. I am not one of those people that buys the seven in one. You know, we all have that brother, that husband, that friend, that girlfriend, that whoever, who uses the seven in one product. The face wash, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, drain cleaner, car deodorizer, ketchup in one. <laughs> and when I see those things, I'm like, if you're trying to do all that, you're not doing any one of those things well. So I am very skeptical of like those seven in one products, but Dr. Visha was like, just try these products. I do believe they're different. And you know me, I turned and learned my ingredients. And when I checked the back, I realized kind of why these are working. For example, this is the cheek to feet. This is the four in one, not a seven in one. And no, it doesn't claim to be drain cleaner or rocket fuel. And it says it decreases bumpy skin, shave bumps, acne, and sweat rashes. And at first you're like, how can it do all of that? But when you realize that the pathology of these conditions often comes from the same place, a good exfoliant can treat all of these things. And that's what this product does. This product has salicylic acid, which I love, and it does have witch hazel and alcohol, which a lot of people don't like, but I actually really appreciate this. This is my third bottle and I have been impressed. Now this actually has a light scent to it. It's almost like a nice earthy smell. And I believe that comes from the thyme oil or from the tea tree, which helps to make this antibacterial, but this is not going to be for the most sensitive of skin. But of course, Dr. Visha has come under fire. You see, even though she's a dermatologist in Memphis, Tennessee, a lot of people look at her Instagram and judge her for using filters. She's not quiet about it. She loves her makeup. She loves her filters. And yes, she looks damn good in a bikini and she's not afraid to flaunt it. She does these sunscreen reviews on Instagram that I absolutely love. She slathers her face in sunscreen and she shows off her sunscreened bikini body. And she has gotten criticism. People are saying, oh, you're a dermatologist. You shouldn't dress like that. You shouldn't look like that. She worked hard for her body, for her medical degree, for her skincare line, for her sunscreen, etc. And if she wants to enjoy her body and share her favorite products on her body, I believe that she has every right to. Dr. Visha really is Hollywood glamour in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, again, like Dr. Sam's line, I kind of had to remove Dr. Visha Patel as the person from the line. And when I did that, I realized that for the price, the line is very good, but um, is it absolutely phenomenal? I would say that this is like a seven out of 10, six out of 10, depending on the product. But if you are someone who wants to have fun with your skincare routine, and especially if you are shopping for skincare for someone who doesn't do BS, someone who just wants something straight to the punch, or who, you know, is one of those guys, gals, or non-binary friends that says, I just want the seven in one product. This is like a four in one product that I can actually get behind. Dr. Visha's multi-use products are ones that actually work because she actually looks at the ingredients and formulates them based on ingredients to make them work, which I do 
to appreciate. So is this my favorite dermatology or doctor branded line in the entire world? No, but is it really good? Yes. And would I spend my money on it again and again and again? I've done it three times with this one. So the answer to that is yes. <laughs> now we did mention this hyaluronic acid doctor brand. I'm sure you see where this is going, Dr. Barbara Sturm. And similar to the white labeling that we were talking about earlier, I feel like we need a separate video on Dr. Barbara Sturm. But I will say that at this point, when looking at the bottles, when looking at everything that's gone on here, Dr. Barbara definitely has credentials. She is definitely to be respected in the industry for her work and what she does. She created the vampire facial, but she actually patented it. So you cannot say that and call it your own. You have to call it the PRP facial or, you know, the blood facial. You can't call it the vampire facial. And her products are definitely luxury. Now, are they worth 250 to 300 bucks? In my personal opinion, no. The ingredients are good, but I don't see what makes them that expensive other than the doctor's name and of course the fancy glass packaging. But that being said, I haven't actually wiped them on my skin. So do they hit different when you apply them to your pores? Perhaps, uh, potentially, but we do not know until I try. And if you need a video on that, oh, that's gonna be a tough one to swallow because that's a lot of money. But you know what? I will spend my hard earned money so that you don't have to if you want me to try it before you do to tell you whether or not I think it's worth it or not. Are there any doctor or dermatologist brands that I forgot here? Please leave them in the comments right now. And always remember to stay hydrated, reapply your SPF, and be beautiful both inside and out. I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.